well-known sports tradition in Chattanooga is suffering because of pain at the pump. We'll tell you how gas prices are affecting the city making money from the annual Dizzy Dean baseball tournament. Do you have what it takes to sing and dance Broadway style? Well, we'll have the latest on open auditions for a local musical production. And Consumer Reports tested several Maytag appliances. We'll let you know just how reliable these well-known gadgets are coming up. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Yes, if you've been outside today, you already know it's it's mighty hot. Oh yeah, but is it hot enough to break a record? That's, That's what we all want to know. And David Glenn is the man with the answer. He joins us now from the Weather Center where he's watching that thermometer. David. Yeah, watch the thermometer and watching the radar. 100 today's official high. And believe it or not, that was not a record. The record one degree higher. So nevertheless, it was right near record pace today with temperatures right at the century mark. But when you add the heat building up like today, you can get strong thunderstorms developing. That is why right now we have an effect severe thunderstorm warning uh, for northern parts of Ray, Meigs, and McMinn County. The cluster of storms now basically right between Decatur to Nyota to Athens. It's all moving to the south very slowly at around 14 miles an hour. Torrential downpours of rain and also numerous lightning strikes accompanying this right along Highway 58. And what this may do is spawn more development farther down to the south as we head through the rest of the afternoon hours and into the evening. That is why a severe th thunderstorm storm watch is in effect over the entire region of Tennessee and North Carolina until 9 o'clock. You can still see some very heavy rain near Goodfield and Clear Springs and other storms starting to percolate and develop over northern Bradley, Hamilton and across central parts of Marion County. A complete update on the live radar and the rest of the Storm Strike 9 7 day forecast in a few minutes. David, thank you. Thanks, Dave. What is a baseball tournament that brings hundreds of six-year-olds, thousands of fans, and millions of dollars to the Senate City? A lot of money, but this year's Dizzy Dean World Series saw fewer teams taking part because of the high cost of gasoline. News Channel 9's Karen Zatkalak spent the day looking into exactly how the price at the pump affects the number of players on the playing field. Good afternoon, Karen. Dave, Kim, Dizzy Dean, and the price of gasoline. Tournament goers say they don't mix well. This year, the baseball event brought about 15 teams less than last year. And you guessed it, there were teams from Texas, Louisiana, and the Carolinas. Teams that just couldn't afford to pay their way to play. Number 25 slides in after hitting a homer with his mom cheering him on. But Joy Erickson and the other parents at the Dizzy Dean World Series aren't cheerful about the cost it took to slide their teams into East Ridge. I'm sure that's a big decision. I know it was a decision with our team. And, um, you know, we decided the boys really wanted to come and it was important enough to them that, you know, we'll have to make the, the budget work elsewhere. But the budget will be hit even harder for this team from Florida who drove ten and a half hours. I think we're going to spend every cent of the $6,000 we raised for the fundraising, so it was expensive. Expensive could be an understatement. The sun is not only heating up on the field of the only ones pulling from out of state to paint the price they paid on their window. It's tough. It's real tough. We, uh, one, of our, one of our team, team uh, parents wrote on their window, you know, we paid $4 a gallon not to come up here and lose. But baseball commissioner Kevin Wright says the city may be losing even more. He says there are about 15 fewer teams here this year than last. The teams from farther away just dropped the ball and the price of gas hit too high. This tournament has, uh, will have an estimated impact of about a million and a half dollars on the economy in the local area. So by not having those teams, that's, that's gas, it's not bought, food, hotel, entertainment, all of those things are, are drastically affected in some of the uh, smaller and local businesses. Here we go, hot dead, here we go. But for the diehard fans and diehard six-year-olds, the only price that matters is not at the pump, but at the plate. Not really. Not really. We, we love baseball and um, we love doing this, so it didn't really cross our minds. And coming up tonight on News Channel Line at 6, we'll let you know how the price of gas in your area compares to a week ago and how it compares to the next.